everything go to shit. <laughs> <laughs> The wind just took it. There is zero wind. It got Caleb. I mean, there's two. It just yours the worst. I want you to look. You see the hole? You ready? Hang on, he's going to flip it. We need the tall people over there to flip it. Stuck in the middle of the trailer. Oh, the wind just took it. Back up 
where I had it and uh, go that route. I had a, a burnout in my head. I was like, you know, there's brand new tires, never had a burnout on them. They weren't scuffed in. Um, so I go up there. I don't do the burnout how I want to. And uh, I knew it as soon as I did it. And I'm trying to just think of how everything went in my head. Um, I was almost late getting up there. I didn't want to get up there and wait for a long time because I'm a nitrous car, but I did stay up there too long looking at the line and then come back here and trying to make small adjustments. Um, got up there, it's time to go. I jump out, put the helmet on, good luck, be safe, all that. We tell each other, um, get the burnout done. My crew backs me up. I go, I let off the button, and I feel the wheel speed. Like it's motivating, but it's got wheel speed. And I'm praying that when the power comes in, that it doesn't knock the tire off. I knew at that point that I made the wrong decision on the shocks. Um, we was fortunate enough to get out front and stay out front. Apparently, Josh white smoked the tires. He had, he had some too much power in it too. Like it's hard to read this out here. Um, and my car, like it left and went, it spun. When it spun, it went a little right, which took me out of the groove. I feel like it took me out of the grease. And that's why it was able to make the pass that it did and not sit there and white smoke and burn the tires like, it, like Josh did. Um, I want to line up out of the groove. And I've thought about it for a while. I want to line up out of the groove, out of the grease, but I do not have big enough balls to be the only one and the first one to try it. So with what's going on up there, I can read the other cars. I can judge by how they're going um, as to what to try with mine. If I take the plunge and just go out of the groove, I have no idea what it's going to do. We was forced enough to pull off the win. We are going the second round. That we were we were two heavy hitters, like. Tony's car, the stepchild car, is fast about everywhere it goes. So I'm happy to get through it. I hate that I had to do that to a friend, but that's racing. So. Mike Keller, I believe it is. I do not know what he has. Um, I really don't know anything about him right off the top of my head. Then we're just going to go up there. I'm going to run my race. Uh, I got the left lane, which if, from what I'm understanding, is, is it's a lot crappier lane than the right lane. And uh, we'll run my race and see if, see if we can come out and go into the third round. So second round, um, <clears throat> we made it through first. We're on the second round. They they are doing all the drawing. Um, so basically, we just go look at a list, and that's who we're paired up with. And I believe it was, I know it was a, a red F body, uh, Mike Mike Keller. Um, don't really know anything about it, and the car looks good. I mean, he made it through first round. So I watched the surface all as much as I could. I was up there a lot trying to watch the surface, waiting on it to come around, waiting on it to come around. It never really did. So I made a couple of some just minor adjustments from the first round. Um, I knew the left lane was dominantly lost. 
the losers were mostly in the left lane. Uh, the first round, I had gotten the left lane this round, so I knew it wasn't going to take a whole lot. I didn't make many changes. Um, I was hoping by the second round that that lane would come around enough to be able to hold what my first round was in the in the right lane. Um, we did everything and, and got backed up. He hit the flashlight. We left. The car had a, a good bit of wheel speed, a lot more than I wanted, but it went it went straight. It motivated. It uh, took us on to the third round. three we get we get Patrick Sparkman um I don't know how he was running he's typically pretty quick uh so I asked around and, and tried to judge kind of where he was and what I needed to do and I uh I don't even remember what all I did I know I know I added a little bit to it I made I, I made minor changes pretty much all day up until a certain point and at that certain point i kind of took a leap of faith and just told myself i have to trust the car but that's later um so we go up do our do our normal routine um and everything just seemed fine uh like i said i made a couple minor changes nothing that drastic um i'm pretty sure this round we decided to pull the car back rather than drive it back because we were we were now playing with plugs and looking at the tune and all that stuff, knowing that I need to know where it's at and, and I'm going to have to know if I can turn it up, if I can put more in it, if I have to take it out or whatever. So they line me up. I get up on the line, go up on the chip, light comes on. I let go of the button. Um, it still has the wheel speed that it had the past before it too much wheel speed so i didn't make all the right adjustments we did get out front early and we held it the whole pass but i did see him right next to me it was a close race um this car was running good i, I was able to edge him out i think it was a fender something like that he was at my door it was close it was a really good race but uh we moved on to round four and when you got back to the pits Pull yeah, plugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we got back to the pit, so we pull it back. We we start pulling the plugs out of it. Everything's good. We got straps. Everything looks good, other than it's lean. Um, and that's an issue we're fighting and, and working towards getting resolved. Can't get enough fuel in it. But we get to number two plug, and when it comes out, it's saturated with oil. Um, 
don't know what's going on. I don't know if I, I killed a piston. I don't know why it's got so much oil in it. So the quick decision is, is look for the guys with the big trailers, right? Who's got a big trailer and a big toter? Tony McKinney. So we run down to Tony's and see if he's got a, uh, a cylinder pressure gauge, a compression gauge. Uh, and he does. So he lets me borrow it. We go back. We run the compression on several cylinders. They're all identical. They're right on. Um, so we stick another a new plug in it in that hole. We stick a new plug in that hole and one in another hole and go up for round four praying that there's nothing hurt. Um, I did pull timing out of that hole just in case. So we pulled some timing out of that hole. I think I pulled timing out of another hole and went back up for round four. So we're into the fourth round. We got Jeff Burbank, Burbank or Burbank. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have raced him before and he beat me. And it was down at KD Cash Days at the Hill, the uh, Friday night race. I know the car's fast. I've seen it perform. He doesn't run a front end, so I want really badly to beat him. Um, super cool guy. Crew's super cool. Uh, they'll understand my little jokes about the front ends and wanting to beat him and all that stuff. And he had the front end there at the track. He just didn't put it on. Um, so we go up, we do our thing. I know on the way up that I'm going to have a fight on my hands. Um, so now I'm extra, extra looking at the track, trying to read the track. I'm back in the right lane. So I've had my first round in the right the next two rounds in the left, and then now I'm back in the right lane. Um, I feel like they've evened out, or I, I feel like the lanes were really close at this point, but there were still, I still wanted the right lane. That way I'm closer to the light, better view, all that good stuff. Um, so we're setting in line, and I'm like going through my head. I keep making changes. Normally when I make changes in the lanes, I end up messing up. So I think I hooked back in and made changes three times before we actually actually went up to race. And it was just trial stuff because I don't know what the car is gonna do with these settings. I don't know what it's gonna do, period. But uh, so I made several changes. None of them were real big. They were all small, but there was a lot of them made. Um, so we go out, we do our normal routine. This time I start to do my burnout. The car kicks a little sideways and it just whips way up in the RPM real fast. Um, so I go to let off the throttle and then it tries to hook. So the burnout wasn't the best. Um, I wasn't doing real good burnouts anyway, or real big burnouts because it was so hot and gooey. Um, and I've got a little bit uh, of how gooey it was um to show but we went up did our thing got staged everything went good let off the button and 
I'm out in front. I don't see him. 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 And I'm expecting him to come by me at any time. Um, I didn't see him at all. I let off. I stayed in my lane for a long time thinking he was going to come. I'm in the right lane and we've got, there's barriers down there. So whenever, if something was to happen, you don't run dead into a, a block building. The barriers are to slow you down. But I got to go over to the left lane to go through the barriers and I don't know where he's at. I can't see anything obviously in the car. And I just start kind of making my way over, making my way over slowly. That way, if he is there, he can hit the brakes. And I got around, went around the barrier, got pulled off to the side, and the truck at the end hit the lights and then took off. And I was like, oh, no, I hope something didn't happen. Um, so I got out of the car real fast. At that point, they had one of the, the UTVs or whatever it is come down to get try to get the roll back and i was asking him and he said he did hit the wall um i hate for anything like that to happen to anybody especially racing me and somebody that i know at this point we've raced uh we've talked we've joked around um so it ended up he did tear up the front of the car he was he was safe walked away harm unharmed but the front end of the car is going to need some work um, so with that, hate for that to happen to anybody. We get the car back to the pit, um, do the normal, we towed it back again, do the normal, pull the plugs, uh, check the tune, fill it with fuel, get it hooked up, all that good stuff. And I think this, at this one, whenever I, I went, went out to go run, I turned my water pump on and it was just really loud, like it's vibrating the whole car. So I know in my head, I don't know that it's actually pumping any fluid, but I do know that it, it's lost a bearing. It's lost something because it is very, very loud. Um, so we do our thing. I turn the water pump off, run the fan for a long time, kick the water pump on for a couple minutes, turn it off just to cool everything down instead of letting it run. We get the plugs out and I, we have a burnt strap. So... I don't know. I don't know if it be, it was because it burnt the strap because the engine got hot and the water pump wasn't pumping, or if it was actually something in the tune. But I do know that we was unable. I've got an issue with my fuel system. I can't get any fuel to. I can't get any fuel. I can't get a fuel ring. I can't get enough fuel in it. So we're addressing that this week, trying to get something figured out there. We've got a burnt strap. I pull timing out of that plug um, at this point. So I don't have him to get the compression gauge again or check anything out. And we just throw another plug in it, pull some timing out, and let her rip. Fifth round, they draw us Aaron Falkenberg. Um, and if I mess any of these names up, forgive me. But uh, he's uh, got an MR2 turbo, MR2, um, races a lot. It's fast. Uh, there's nothing, like, nothing negative to say about the guy. He's super cool, always, like, in a delightful mood. I guess you could say he just speaks just a good dude um we've raced him before 
out at Milan, and he really, really, really wants to beat me. <laughs> so, and, and I get it. <laughs> but, uh, so we do our thing. Uh, at this point, I haven't made much changes from the round before because uh, the, the surface hasn't really came around like I was expecting it to when the, when the sun went down. It's still gooey no matter what. It's just gooey, gooey, gooey. It's sticky, but it's gooey. Um, and that, that means like if you step on it, it will rip your shoes off. But if you turn your foot, it just turns. It, it's just, there, it, it's moving on itself. It's nasty. So I didn't do a whole lot. Um, pulled the timing out of the one, one hole for the burnt strap, went up, did our normal routine. We're keeping everything consistent. And when Chris let, let the light go, I let off the button and it took off and, and it started to wheelie and wheelie. So I, I tried to catch it early before it got too big. You can't, you can't win if the bumper's on the ground, you know what I mean? So I think I pedaled it like four or five times and it just stayed right there, stayed right there. And then it finally sat down. I'm over towards the center of the track. I know I'm getting close to the center line. So I started to bring it back, got it back over in the groove and was able to pull off the wind. So I wheelied, I don't know how long it wheelied, but I wheelied, cut gas like four or five times and still was able to get the win. I do not know what happened on his side. Um, I can't believe that he made a good pass, but I don't know. So that takes us on to round six. Semifinals. The semifinals. No, that's good. That's just that one's mine. No, we didn't exactly win. We didn't win. This was the, the, the bottle that he got for whenever we win our first race. But this is close enough to a win, he says. So <laughs> made it down to the down final to three. three um, of what was it? 80 whatever cars? 92 or, or three. 93, 93, 93 cars. Yeah, 93 cars. Uh, car was doing really good. So. Our crew's happy. I had to drag out the car. Yeah. I already had a coach. Yeah, he already had one. <laughs> <laughs> I already had one. Yeah. 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 Mine's got to have more in it because I need to taste. <laughs> hey, fair enough. <laughs> 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 he says that one's mine. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I better. I'll make sure that you're good. Yeah. 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 It smells really good. You sure? I'm like right in the middle of all this. Get up here, boy. <laughs> Hold on. Get up my nose. Yeah, don't do that. Let <laughs> me go around here. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you say her, buddy. Hey. Here's, here, here's Raggedy Ann, man. She's back. So we had the accident that cut it short. Um, prayers for her and her family. That that brings us to the the payout meeting where they had to split three ways um, to to cut it up. And there is a trophy that you know everybody wants the trophy. It, even even that we split it up, if you get the trophy, I guess it gives you some sense of superiority, um, makes you feel better, and lets people that don't know think that you won. That's that's what the trophy is. It is it's a pretty badass trophy, though. I will give you that. Um, so for the trophy, on the way up there, I think I remember somebody saying in the in the group chat that they have for for all the racers something about flipping quarters playing odd man out odd man wins they get the trophy so i get my quarter that i feel like is my lucky quarter and i go up there and there is some controversy with doing this 
So one of them really, really, really wants to race draggies and, and show draggy times for the trophy, which I could give two shits about draggy times. We're not out here to race numbers. If you wanted that, you would go to a bracket race or, or, or ducks races or something like that. You wouldn't do what we do. We race no time races for a reason. Um, but he was very adamant, said he didn't gamble, so he's not flipping quarters, this, that, and the other. And one of the other, one, one of the other two that was in this was he wasn't worried about showing his draggy time, so he was okay with it. So that gave them leverage to kind of quote unquote bully in the draggy thing, and they were showing it to a neutral person, which he was more than happy to see their draggies. Um, so I told them, hell with it. They can have the fucking trophy. I'm not showing my draggy. None of them need to know how fast I went. I'm okay with one of them going home with the trophy. Um, just that they just wasn't having the coin flip, which was the easiest, most sane way to do it. Uh, especially in a no time situation. No times is no time. Who's to say I even had a draggy? How would that have worked? But they did do it. Jarrett won the trophy, um, so he had the fastest time of the two. Congratulations, Jarrett. Um, and then they cut it up evenly. Josh cut it up evenly because nobody had made it to the finals, I guess, yet. We're still in the semifinals. Uh, Jarrett got the bye to the finals. He did not make his pass. There's no reason that to cut it up any other way. If he had made his pass, I, I would I would feel that he would deserve more, but nobody made their passes. Um, and I guess there are some comments that he deserved half being thrown out there because, you know, he did get the bye to the finals. And I would have argued that too if I got the bye. I get it. I feel like Josh did the right thing, split it up evenly, get it done and over with. I mean, the man went home with a good chunk of money. There's no reason to be upset. Um, and the other two of us did too. I'm happy with what I came home with. I felt good about my night. Um, I felt good about the next two rounds. It's racing. It's not winning. I could have went out the next round. I don't know, but I felt good about what I had, what I had at that track. Felt real good about it. Um, so there, that, that's that it's, it's, there was some tempers getting flared, and, and, and in the end of it, we was all joking around, and I think everything was okay, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's all it's all good. Um, now, didn't each of you give a thousand to the person that you just beat in the fifth round? Yeah, in the fifth round, there was somebody put together a, a deal where the losers get a thousand. So whenever we got our payouts, the person that and I think I come up with that because nobody know who, knew who to go to to get paid. And they was wanting their thousand dollars, obviously. So whenever we got paid, I was just like, why don't whoever, whoever you beat, give them a thousand dollars out of your pot. And that's what we did. So, oh, excuse me. Sorry. It kind of paid six spots. Um, there was plenty of money there to get cut up. I feel I'm not greedy. Uh, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy with what I come home with. I've got a fueling issue to figure out. The car is, like I said, super lean. Um, a water pump issue. The water pump's trashed. I mean, my, I feel like the car was kind of, it was on edge anyway for the circumstance. Um, there's so much more left in it once I get it ironed out. We're still, we've got gremlins that, that are popping up. It's doing exceptionally well this early, I feel. And I, I'm just I'm just stoked to be where I'm at with the car and can't thank everybody enough that has stood by me, stepped up and helped, um, just everybody. Um, so, so appreciative. So thank you. The crew that I have is like coming together so good. We get along really well. Um, even when we're assholes, it's like we put up with each other and, and I was, I was, I got to a point to where I was a pretty, pretty good asshole at one point. I was just like, I couldn't believe that I was where I was at and, and not knowing what call to make really, it really weighs on me. Um, because 
I don't know what call to make. And, and in the beginning, it was, oh, well, let's try this and see what it does. And now, like, we have a competitive car. And if I make the wrong decision, it, it's just going to cut us right out. And I feel like we've got a car that can be in the front anywhere we go. So I've got to basically just seat time and, and figuring it out. But my crew, love them to death, um, doing an awesome job. So until next time, we'll see you. I get your point, but we ain't living in the future. We're, we're yeah, still in the semifinals. It, 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 when it happens, like some races go one way, some races, yeah. I'm, I, of course I'm going to try to, you know. I know you are. And I don't, and and I don't blame you. <laughs> he got the trophy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't compare Dragon Times for more money too, but. No, I, huh. I, it's, it is what it is. It, so it's, a, as know, far as the call. trophy goes, yeah. I don't. We figured it we out. Gotta we got to figure it out. CJ got the trophy. He's up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got. I was going to suggest the arm wrestling, but okay. I'll do it. We can redo that. So here, let's go over here to the light. 8,700, sir. 8,700, sir. 8,720. Winner, winner. Let me buy that 20 back. They split it. Nope. We split back to the semis, too. Oh, yeah. Jared Bradshaw on me right there. Hold on. CJ, let's do that. You did. I'll figure it out. But before y'all do anything, the three of you, let's get a picture. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the three of you? I'm the trophy, guys. Fuck you. Hey, everybody that's a bad person, we'll give them a thousand. What'd you say right. about luck a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be lucky than fucking... Whoever wants $1,000 from me has to strap my car in for their car. <laughs> 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 <laugh